Hi, I'm Marcus Riccelli, your state representative from the 3rd District, serving Spokane, the heartbeat of the Inland Northwest. We're in week six of the 2019 legislative session, and that means we're coming up on our first cutoff for bills. February 22nd is the deadline for policy bills that originate in the House to advance out of policy committees. Fiscal bills have another week before their cutoff. I serve on the Health Care and Wellness Committee in the House, and I thought I'd give you a quick update on some of the health care bills I support and where they currently are in the process. The first is the Long-Term Care Trust Act, or House Bill 1087. This bill would create a long-term care trust that workers would pay into. In return, they would receive a benefit equal to about $37,000 that could help pay for the care they need. Here's why this bill is important. Our state and our country faces a looming crisis in long-term care. Almost all of us will need access to some type of care as we age, but most people don't have the money saved for this care, nor do they have any long-term care insurance coverage. Right now, people are having to spend themselves down to poverty before they can access Medicaid long-term care services, and family members are providing a lot of unpaid caregiving. In fact, in Washington State, there are 850,000 unpaid family caregivers. Unless we act, more and more people will rely on Medicaid, which will put a strain on our state budget in the tune of billions and billions of dollars. The Long-Term Care Trust Act is a bipartisan bill that is a win for workers, a win for families, and a win for our state budget. It's now awaiting a vote on the House floor. Another bill awaiting a floor vote would change the legal age to buy tobacco products to 21. It's no secret that smoking is bad for your health, and that's why we don't want kids getting addicted to tobacco. Research shows 90% of adult smokers got started when they were kids, and smoking is the leading cause of preventable death in the U.S. Most teens get their tobacco and vapor products from friends and peers who are ages 18 to 20, and that's what House Bill 1074 targets. I see it as giving our kids the freedom not to become addicted to nicotine and a chance at a healthier future. Finally, a bill removing a barrier to interdisciplinary training in health sciences is scheduled to move out of the Health Care Committee by this week's deadline. House Bill 1726 addresses an issue that can be a roadblock in the education of health professionals. For example, under current law, when a pharmacy student takes a patient's blood pressure, only a licensed pharmacist can oversee them though a medical doctor or a registered nurse could supervise just as well. Certain aspects of patient care, like taking someone's blood pressure, are cornerstones of many health disciplines. This inflexibility decreases access to free or low-cost health services for patients at events like health fairs, which hurts families who struggle financially. I was pleased to work with students from WSU Health Sciences when they came to Olympia to support this bill. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about these or other bills, please contact me. I want to close by thanking the over 2,200 residents from the 3rd Legislative District who took part in a telephone town hall with Rep. Ormsby, Senator Billig, and me. I appreciate all who participated. We got a lot of great questions on topics, and a robust democracy can only exist with an active and engaged citizenry. It's such an honor to serve as your state representative, and I appreciate you watching.